even people normally uncritical of the BBC found Andrew Marr's interview with the Prime Minister pretty astonishing on 17th of June, I'm not one for general BBC bashing, but this is a terrible interview of, Theresa May on hashtag Marr pretty astonishing she's not even be challenged on the idea of a Brexit dividend for the NHS, when even official forecasts accepts this does not exist. Peter Walker, at Peter Walker 99, June 17, 2018 The opposite of a dividend in a pre-recorded interview from Downing Street, Theresa May claimed her government will pay for an NHS cash injection through a Brexit dividend, of course, we've got to fund that money, that will be through the Brexit dividend, the fact that we're no longer sending vast amounts of money every year to the EU once we leave the EU. Forecasts from the Office for Budget Responsibility OBR, which informs government policy, show that May is ignoring reality. Under the Conservatives, Brexit will cost public finances a net £15 billion per year, according to the OBR, that's the opposite of a dividend. Despite May offering a complete fantasy to BBC viewers, Marr didn't challenge the Conservative leader. In response, some people on social media were unforgiving, hashtag Mar allowing Theresa Maybot to claim a Brexit dividend when every single actual study has shown we will be considerably worse off is the worst kind of government pandering, BBC is little more than propaganda. Reality is that tax and debt will be paying for it, and Brexit. Daniel Ware, at Jabel Krong, June 17, 2018 What a complete flake Andrew Marr is, he challenges her on nothing, either he nor his researchers are doing their jobs properly, or he just doesn't have the balls to challenge her on anything Hashtag Marr, Nathaniel Hornblower, at Emmy Who You, June 17, 2018 Theresa May appears on Marr for, I think, the third time in a row, in a pre-recorded interview. CCHQ policy seems pretty clear when it comes the PM, keep her away from live TV, from meeting real people and from having to respond to any unplanned questions or a challenge hashtag Mar, Paul Hodgkins, at Paul Hodgkins 3, June 17, 2018 Mar the lap dog. The interview did not look promising from the get-go. May began by alleging that she's put more money into the NHS every year since 2010. When Mar quietly pointed out that in real terms that's a squeeze, a stern look from May quickly extinguished the intervention, Mar then allowed the Prime Minister to shift the blame away from conservative austerity and onto winters and an aging population. Any spending increase on the NHS must be seen in the context of years of conservative cuts to the service. Later, Mar questioned May on the backdrop to her new NHS spending. The Institute for Fiscal Studies said, very recently, meaningful process on waiting times, staff shortages, and mental health, which you've just been talking about, will need growth of around 5%, not 3.4%, for the next five years. Much less than growth of 4% a year, and the NHS will be able to do little more than tread water when May speaks of an extra £20 billion for the NHS, it sounds like a lot. But overall NHS spending remains wholly inadequate, given the cuts the health service has already endured. On top of that, May's talk of a Brexit dividend is pure propaganda. Yet Marr didn't challenge the Prime Minister on such outright bullshit, that's another nail in the coffin for the political coverage at the BBC. We deserve and must demand better from our public service broadcaster. Get involved. Dash join the canary, so we can keep holding the powerful to account, read and support other independent media outlets, Media Diversified, Novara Media, Corporate Watch, Red Pepper, New Internationalist, Common Space, Media Lens, Bella Caledonia, Vox Political, Evolve Politics, Real Media, Real News, Strike, Magazine, The Bristol Cable, The Meteor, The Squawk Box, Salford Star, The Ferret, Featured Image via BBC slash YouTube.